Hey guys and welcome to today's video where we are finally putting together Gizmo's new tank which like Diego's tank is from Custom Reptile Habitats. I'll leave links below if you're interested. But yeah, the enclosure has finally turned up today. Obviously it's still in its box but a few days ago the decorations arrived so the background, the sides and the fake rocks as well as the stand and the spacer. So I went ahead and put the space and stand together. They're pretty straightforward, very easy to do. This is the stand I'm putting together right now and this is going to go underneath Diego's tank. So now I'm going to remove anything heavy from Diego's tank, including himself, because we need to lift this tank onto the stand. Okay, now we have to put in all the electric and luckily our calculations worked out well so the plug sockets are directly behind all of these like it's gonna be basically the hood or the spacer um my problem is i have very short arms so we're gonna see how this works out i've got the little doors to hide everything away so this is how it all looks with everything back on now diego gets to move back in there you go i know you're gonna probably run under there <laughs> here you can see a plan for what we're doing so we've got the stand we've got diego's tank we've got the spacer so next we need to build gizmo's tank now the difference between gizmo's tank and diego's tank is diego's is 24 inches tall and gizmo's is 18 inches tall so if you remember when i was building diego's tank we had to build up this area so much in order for the UV and heat to work properly. And I'll, do, I'll, I'll link a whole video that I did on that. Whereas in the 18 inch, we won't have to build up this area so much. And I think that's fair because Gizmo is going to be 15 this year. And I don't want her throwing herself off a giant built up rock stack. So I think this is more suitable. As well as obviously the tank bits, we do also have our lovely rock colouring. Oh, it got smashed a little bit. <laughs> we might have to find a new place to put it. But um, this is basically crushed rocks that create colour. Uh, we use this on the background and on the rocks and to attach them and everything. You'll see more in the video. Got lots of sticky bits and tools. We got some sealant. I also use my own like aquarium safe sealant I get from Amazon. I'll leave a link below that's really handy. I use it on all my builds just as backup in case this isn't enough, but it should be. I thought I'd also show you this uh, piece that comes with the enclosure. So I don't think I need to use this for my leopard geckos, but if you do have an animal that requires higher humidity, what you can do is you can cut these pieces out. So you've got a heat lamp or, um, a jungle dawn or a uv and so they need to actually go through the mesh but this will help keep some of that humidity in because the mesh is fantastic if you've got a leopard gecko you want some good airflow the mesh on these tanks are brilliant like and they're very wide so they'll let a lot of light through um obviously if you have something that requires higher humidity this will be great at blocking some of that out so i'll just place it on top as I said, you can cut out what you require and that place is in there. So we have a new tool in this kit and it actually helps push the rubber seal in, which is doing such a good job because <laughs> I think in Diego's build it was quite difficult to do, wasn't it? I mean, you're meant to say yes, so people don't think I have a really hairy arm. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. 
So now all the seals are in, I'm going to silicon sealant around the base of the tank and a few inches up. Uh, this is just to make it watertight. And though this will be an arid tank, it is going to be bioactive, so I do want it to be sealed. But obviously if you ha were going to have like a more high humidity tank, you definitely want to get this sealed. So this is going to be Gizmo's background. Now it is a little different to Diego's, because Diego's was a little more like this brown on the other side whereas this is actually sort of made of foam so although it is still heavy and tough it does feel different however I think it might actually be easier to stick down because it's already quite flat on the back The background is in and now we're doing the side pieces which need a bit of trimming but we're going to silicon them down just like we did with the background and stick them both on. So this is how it's looking, we've got the sides on, we've got the back piece on but there are just some gaps here and a little bit over here but mainly over this side so what we're going to do is we're going to get some sealant, stick it in there, smooth it down and then we're going to take these which I believe are just crushed rocks with natural pigment uh, that come with the kit and we're gonna dab them on. So the kit comes with six decorative rocks and a water dish. Now, three of these you can attach to the sides. So if you want a few ledges, you can use these, and these are sort of made of foam inside. They're lightweight. Um, especially like this nice big one, it's lightweight so it can easily attach to the side. It's this one, this one and this one. And then we have three decorative rocks which you can just put about, you can make into really humid areas for your clean up crew. Or they're quite easy to cut, you could literally cut this with scissors. Cut a thing here, it becomes a hide. It's hollow inside but it's nice and heavy so if you do have particularly strong lizards or snakes they shouldn't be able to knock these over particularly easily. So um Lots of different things you can do with these. So the tank is ready to go on top, so we've moved out Diego because it could get quite loud. Oh. Now for the hood. So the tower is now complete, the tank is on. I did add in the Jungle Dawn LED because we can link it up with the other units in here, so at least we can see in the tank. I will then link the UV in there and install the deep heat projector when I set up the tank. I'll also put on the doors once I do that. Um, but I'm so happy with how it's come out. I asked Paul from Custom Reptile Habitats to sort of make sure that this wasn't too high. I'm only five foot two and I wanted to be able to easily look in and see Gizmo. This, this is all going to be hidden by the way with the drainage layer. But I didn't want a tank that was so high I'd have to get on a step every time I want to see Gizmo. So it's so easy to look down and see Diego there. Look up and there's Gizmo. I'm just so happy with how it's come out. I am obviously going to turn it bioactive, so make sure you are subscribed. You got those notifications on so you don't miss that video. But yeah, oh, also there is a new little feature. We have little handles for the spacer and hood. Um, these are just little details that help so much because before you had to just use your hand to pull them across, but now we've got little handles, so that's a nice little feature. But um, thank you to Custom Reptile Habitats for sending me this. My room now kind of looks like a little reptile shop, but like just for Lefe Gecko per tank, the way it should be. <laughs> so anyway, 
anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video remember i do have new merch out now so go check that out but thank you for watching guys and goodbye